Korea Promotion Institute for Traditional Medicine Industry. Enkun Yan Li has completed her PhD and uh, postdoctoral studies from Iowa State University. She is a senior researcher of herbal medicine team at Public Research Institute of South Korea. She has focused on the development for anti-inflammatory and uh, anti-allergic drugs such as asthma and uh, allergic she has published more than 40 papers in reputed journals. Welcome. Good afternoon, everyone. Actually, it's break time right now, so I try to talk very quickly. Uh, first, I would like to thank the Omnis Group for inviting me as a speaker. It's really an honor for me to present my work at this conference. The presentation title today is anti allergic Effect of Korean Traditional Medicine Beyond Tang. Tang means decoction of mast cells and allergic rhinitis. The allergic rhinitis is a chronic disease of nasal mucosa characterized by IZ mediated inflammation. The symptoms are sneezing, rhinia, itching, and the nasal congestion. Other symptoms are also uh, nose and eyes and the throat. It is caused by multi-factor involving genetic disposition and environmental exposure. The allergic inflammation <coughs> occurs the following mechanism. The after antigen activation, the T cell, especially TH2 cell, secret IL-4, required for B cell maturation and IG synthesis. IL-3, 5, and GMCSF required for eosinophile maturation and differentiation. IL-3, 4, and 9, required for master cell maturation. And as you can see in the figure, the receptor called FC3 receptor on master cells activated by cross-linking <coughs> of receptor with the antigen. The, after that, the variety of the inflammatory mediators secreted to cause and the illicit the allergic disease such as rhinitis and asthma. The different maze classes of treatment, AR treatment, are available. Antihistamine and leukotyl antagonist inhibit the binding of histamine and leukotriene. The stabilization of mast cell like formalin prevent mast cell degeneration. Also, the monoclonal antibody to IZ <coughs> block the binding of IZE. The polycosteroid act by inhibiting gene transcription of several protein involved in inflammation cascade. RZ rhinitis called named AR affect 1.4 billion of global population and its prevalence is increasing. In Korea, <coughs> about 10% of population is suffering from AR. Asthma and AR often coexist in the same individual. Up to 40% of patients with AR have asthma. Furthermore, the patient with AR like three times the risk of developing asthma compared with those without AR. So indeed, the one way, one disease hypothesis proposed that those two are as a single inflammatory <coughs> process. The, uh, therefore, AR treatment influence asthma <coughs> control. 
The concept of a rising march or a talking march was developed to describe the progression of atopic disorder. The, in general, the critical sign of the atopic dermatitis predate the development of asthma and AR. Uh, in our lab, we have screened uh, several, uh, actual lots of the herbal formula used in clinical, oriental clinics for air treatment because current available Western drugs have side effect, as you know. So in this study, BM tongue called EBT was used to develop for the anti-allergic activities in vitro and vivo. The EBT is composed of four different herbs. And the herbs were mixed according to the ratio of combination and extracted with 70% ethanol used in this study. Uh, mesthet cells are major effect cell in allergy, as you know. So lots of the inflammatory mediators such as histamine and newly synthesized lipid mediators are secreted from activated mast cell. <coughs> so they cause the inflammation and allergy disease. Bone marrow derived mast cell named BMM, she was used screen also the, to the effect of EBT on in vitro assay. In this slide, you can see the inhibition of beta hex release, PGD, and LTH4 production. And the beta hex is actually parallel with histamine release from the mast cell combination. So we used in vivo model, to see the effect of EBT, we use the systemic and local anaphylactic reaction. Those are the protocol for the experiment. The effect of a systemic analysis, as you can see, the compound 4880 induced mortality was decreased. In particular, the dose of 400 milligram per kilogram was completely blocked the mortality. We also see the effect of EBT on passive cutaneous anaphylaxis reaction. In the figure, to the PCA reduce the, uh, I'm sorry, EBT reduce the PCA in those dependent manner. This is experiment called the mutant asthma model. Uh, mice were synthesized with the OBA ovalumin and challenged intranasally. We had EBT treatment, uh, treatment 12 times. When you look at the, I, uh, the uh, level of IZ and the histamine, the EBT reduce the IZ and histamine level in serum in air induced over rumin mice. Also, we look at the EBT, the effect of EBT on a T cells are a response from spring site of culture. Because those cytokines are TH1 and TH cytokine. Especially the IL4, 5, 13 are TH2 cytokine, is caused the allergic reaction. And uh, interferon gamma is TH1 cytokine. So the allergy reaction is the balance of the T 
Th1 and chest cytokine is very important for the inducing disease. So the Th2 cytokine will be used in spinocyte compared to the OBA-induced mice. While the interferon gamma in spring was upregulated in OBA-induced mice. So from this slide, we thought the EBT, the, uh, the concoction, is a very good candidate for the developing of AR disease. We also look at the histological analysis of nasal mucous tissue. Uh, the infiltration of leukocyte and mucous secretes are index of AR. So, and look at the PC, there are lots of the leukocyte infiltrated in mucous tissue. And when you, when the DEXA, the uh, reference drug was treated, this really decreased the infiltration. As you can see in the treatment of EBT, 200 dose milligram per kilogram. We also look at the, the epithelium disruption because when you look at the PC, the epithelium is disrupted badly. But when you look at the EBT 200 milligram per kg, the damage was decreased. This is past staining. That when you look at the mucous secretion, the PC has a, a red color on the epithelium, near the epithelium. So that is the mucous secretion. But when you look at the, uh, when you, the, the EBT treatment to decrease the mucosa secretion though in those dependent manner. The main compound profile of EBT was analyzed by HPLC system. The six compounds are shown in this slide and actually most of them are from Angelica Redix. In conclusion, uh, EBT inhibit the inflammatory mediators from activated mast cell in vitro system. Also, EBT ameliorated the compound induced anaphylaxis and PCA reaction. The finally, EBT liberate air by suppression of TH cytokine, <coughs> serum, ID level, and histamine, decreased infiltration of inflammatory cell and mucous secretion in the nasal tissue. However, the detailed molecular mechanism involved and the purification of active compounds need to be studied in further investigation. Thank you.